Hi, this is Mrs. A and welcome to my channel. Today, you're going to learn about how we're going to describe the graph of linear equation in terms of its intercepts and slope. I'll show to you the graph of a linear equation and then what we're going to do is we're going to get the slope and derive the formula uh, slope intercept form of equation of the line. So this is the graph. So I have here point A and B. And then the coordinates of B is for 4 and the coordinates of A is negative 1, negative 3. Now, the line passes through point 1, 0 also and that is the x-intercept. So here, napansin nyo dito, ito yung uh, dumaan yung graph natin, dumaan siya sa x-axis sa 1, 0. Ito yung tinatawag na x-intercept. At dumaan din siya sa y-intercept sa 0, negative 2. Ito naman yung y-intercept. X-intercept, yung graph dumaan sa x-axis. At yung y-intercept naman, dumaan siya sa y-axis. Okay, now, kunin natin muna yung slope of the line using the rise over run. So, ang rise natin, mula dito sa point A, bago tayo makarating doon sa B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Nag-rise tayo ng 7, then going there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so run natin I5. So, 7 over 5, that is the slope. Now, we know that the rise is what we call change in Y. And we know the run is change in X. Change in Y means that M is equal to the changes here from Y sub 2. So, that is Y sub 2 minus y sub 1, and x sub 2 minus x sub 1. That's the formula for finding the slope the other way, given two points. Okay, now, so if you're going to get the slope of the line using this formula, tingnan natin kung pareho makukuha nating sagot. So ito yung ating um, x sub 2, ito yung uh, ating y sub 2. Ito naman ang y x sub 1. Sorry. And this is y sub 1. Okay, so let's apply that in this formula. So m is equal to negative 3 minus 4. And that is negative 1 minus 4. So that is negative 7 over negative 5. Okay, so this time, we are going to derive the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. So, I have here the graph of the line. And I'm just going to choose an any point there, which means there is no specific number. So, I just put 0B. Zero, zero B. B means the value of Y or Y-intercept here. And for this point, I'm just going to use X and Y. I am going to use this as my two points. So, this is my, first, my second point. This is my first point. I'm going to substitute this in the slope formula. So, m is equal to, I'm going to subtract y minus b and x minus 0. So, there. And then, I'm going to cross multiply. Understood, there is 1 here. So, I'm going to cross multiply y, my, y minus b times 1. That is y minus b. And m times x minus 0, and that is m times the quantity x minus 0. So, distributive property, I'm just going to distribute first this one, m times x and m times 0. So, that is now y minus b, copy first, then mx plus 0. Okay? Then, what I'm going to do now is, to solve for y, I'm going to apply addition property. I'm going to add b on both sides of the equation. Okay, there. So, now, this one is equal to 0. So, I'm just going to uh, copy the, the b on the other side. So, y is equal to mx plus b. This is now the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. Take note, the m is the slope and the b is the y-intercept. 
which means that given the slope and the y-intercept, we can determine the equation of the line. So let's have an example. Find the equation of the line given its slope and y-intercept. So ayan ang pinakasimple natin. In order for us to get the equation of the line, kailangan natin ng slope. In this case, slope and y-intercept. So, we have slope of 4 and y-intercept of 8. So, what is now the formula? y is equal to mx plus b. So, very easy. Ipapalitan nyo lang ng... Yung m na yan, palitan nyo lang ng 4, which is the slope. And then, yung y-intercept of 8, that is the value of b. So, this is now the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. Uh, okay, another one. Slope of 3, 4, and y intercept of 12. So, y is equal to 3, 4, that's a slope, times x. And what is now the y intercept? 12. So, that is plus 12. So, that's it. That's how you're going to find the equation of the line given the slope and the y intercept. I'm going to have uh, more videos about finding the equation of the line given the other um, data, let's say two points, x-intercepts and y-intercepts, something like that. So, uh, watch for my ne next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.